everybody, I am that nursing prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to do an intradermal injection. So let's talk about it a little bit and then I'll show you how to do it. The first things you need to know, where is it done? It's most commonly done on the forearm, about four finger widths below the AC, so about right here, okay? The amount we give is less than or equal to 0.5 mLs, so a very, very small amount. The typical needle gauge is 25 to 27, and the length of the needle could be from anywhere to half an inch to 5 eighths inch long. So these are little amounts we're giving and these are little needles we're using. And the syringe we use is usually called a tuberculin syringe because nine times out of ten, the reason you're doing an intradermal is because you're doing a tuberculosis test. And when we give it, we give it at an angle of either five degrees or 15 degrees. So anywhere between five and 15, which is barely touching, okay? Barely hovering over the skin. So now that we've talked about the basics, let's wash our hands, provide privacy, verify the patient. We're gonna do our three checks of our MAR. We're gonna do our six rights. And now we're ready to actually do it. Now we're ready to draw up our ID injection. Remember, when we're dealing with a vial, we have to check for expiration date, lot number, and manufacturer date. And the other little thing I wanted to point out first is this. This is a tuberculin syringe. This is a very little syringe. This whole thing is 1 mL. So for comparison purposes, this is a 3 mL syringe. So this whole thing is the equivalent of just this little bit in this syringe. So this does not hold a lot of fluid. It is not made to hold a lot of fluid. So now we're ready to draw up. So we're going to pop off the cap, alcohol wipe, and we're going to draw back our air. And the amount of air we draw back is the amount of fluid we are going to take out of the vial. So let's say for pretend it's 0 0.3. So we're going to pull back to the 0.3 of air. We're going to inject that and then we're going to flip it upside down and pull back 0 0.3 of the fluid. And it's best to do this at eye level, okay? You can't see me, but I'm crouching so I can see it and make sure we're at the right place. So here we are, 0 0.3. Now we're ready to inject this in the patient. Now we're ready to do our intradermal injection. So to find the location, you're going to go one, two, three, four fingers down on the forearm, making sure that the patient's arm is flat and resting on a surface like a table. Then about this point, you're going to wipe it, wait for it to dry, don't blow on it, don't wave your hand over it, just wait for it to dry. Then we're going to take our TB syringe with our bevel up and we're ready to inject. Remember, just barely above the surface, 5 degrees to 15 degree angle, okay? There we go. So we have a little bleb, and this needs to be read within 48 to 72 hours. And then of course, we're going to dispose of this in the sharps. So that was my video on intradermal injections. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.